If you're grossed out by the idea of wearing recycled shoes that smell of Lysol, I know I am, then why not try World Bowling? There are two characters to choose from, a bowling shoe ugly boy or girl. The boy is right-handed while the girl is a lefty, which has a certain influence over the amount of spin that can be applied on either side. A second permanent modifier for the game allows you to specify the weight of the ball, which has some effect on the ball movement. None are more difficult than the other, it's just a case of learning what the slight differences are. Don't think that it's something intuitive or clever, the alterations are basically arbitrary. Once the game starts, you position your character along the line, select your control, which is left or right spin, and then power. The ball travels down the lane with a decent animation, scattering the pins in a reasonable assimilation of physics. Nothing fancy here, but serviceable. And that's basically the whole experience right there. No nachos, no beer, no high-fiving your teammates and whooping obnoxiously. I suppose you could do that if you wanted. Hell, you don't even get a choice of garish monogrammed shirts. The hit detection is not spot on by any stretch. You can miss entirely and get a hit. Sometimes the ball ghosts straight through the mark. The music is nice, but there's no bowling sounds, which seems like such an obvious oversight. The satisfying clatter of marble on wood when you hit a strike just isn't there. Not even an attempt to emulate it was made. Maybe they tried but couldn't do it, so just gave up, but it feels pretty lazy. Strangely, for what is essentially a sports game, apparently bowling is a sport, who knew? You aren't playing against an opponent. Instead, each of the countries you visit have a qualifying score to beat. The scores you need to achieve are way too high. You need to hit strikes most of the time, with the first level requiring a 200 score in Japan, increasing to 250 by the time you get to England represented by the Union Jack, but that's a separate grievance. For a guy who can't hit much past 100 in actual bowling, trying to do this on a Game Boy where your success or failure is determined by nothing but timing to audio cues is damn near impossible. There's little incentive to progress anyway. All the alleys look the same apart from the national flags on the wall. No saves, no passwords, no continues. You need to beat all six games in one shot. Don't worry about it though, beat the last country and you get these strange men with parasols who remark, Congratulations, you are good player. Cool, thanks. So glad I just sat through all that. In my experience, the best thing about bowling is the social aspect of it. Go into the alley with your mates, getting drunk and laughing at the guy with no coordination who keeps guttering that thing. Missing your turn because you got bored and started playing on Metal Slug in the corner. Writing your name on the screen as ass and poo. You know, all those things we actually used to go bowling for. There's none of that in world bowling. And so really, is there any point? 